is maandagochtend en jy is ingeskakel op jou goed vol om buik program, net hier op SABC3. Uh, uh, Dr. Eve still with us in studio. We're talking about those holiday flings, summer romances. But before we get back to Dr. Eve, we asked our espresso couples whether they would contemplate um, to revisit a summer fling. <laughs> If you've had a summer fling, is the one about whom you wonder, what if? Nah. No. Um, I'm flip. not that type of person. Uh, yeah. When something is over, it's over. You like know? it's done, Yeah, yo. it's done. I can't go back. I think in the past there have been what ifs. But they're usually a very cautious going into a relationship, whether it's in the summer or a fling or anything, and therefore... I'm pretty sure when I go into a relationship. And so I don't think that really applies for me. Where I am at the point in my life now, I can honestly say that I am fulfilled in every aspect of my life. So this isn't a question that I ever think about. Yeah. I guess that's possible. Especially depending on what age you are. Um, maybe when I was a teenager meeting that one guy on December holidays and thinking this is the person I'm absolutely in love with. And that's the crush. I think as you grow up, you learn what's the difference between the crush of fling and a real thing. Yeah, but the what if does kick in now and again. Not anymore. Very good question, but I don't think I'd be absolutely honest if my significant other is sitting fling. next to me. Yes, of course, I'd revisit that fling. Like, ah, oh, you're sleeping on the couch. Um, anyways, uh, Dr. Eve, I wanted to ask you the question. Yeah. Is it a good idea? What, what, okay, if you wanted to continue a summer fling, mm. what would be the best way to do it so that you could pursue this exclusive relationship? I'm sure it's mm. easier today with social media, mm. staying connected mm. with someone, mm. but what would you suggest? I think that it depends very much on expectation of both people because the very notion of summer fling means that it's temporary. Yeah. Uh, until you catch the feelings or you find that actually there is more to it than just the superficialness of having fun and being intimate and having that kind of... I was going to say debauched fun. It sounds judgmental. Debauched. Just fun, just fun. <laughs> so if there's an expectation of like we're going to close the circle, we know that uh, at this date I'm leaving town or I'm going to go back to my partner, this mm -hmm. is what it is and it's contained, then it's fine. If you set the expectation of this is what's going to happen. Obviously, feelings are organic. They happen unexpectedly and people can't predict how you're going to feel by the end of it. So if you're going to continue it, there has to be an absolute mutual commitment. I keep coming back to the word commitment, that we do want to have something more. We want to explore something more. We're open to exploring something more. So let's continue this conversation, even if we're not in the same city or the same country, and let's kind of organically see how it's going to go. And then you have to come and make agreements. We call them agreements, not rules, agreements. If you're living in a different city, a different country, what are our agreements? And you use the word exclusively, Anne. You know, do we want to have something exclusive or do we want to have something open? I also like the notion of, of what one of the couples said is that we're quite hard on like, okay, we're done, we're never going to see this person again. I don't, I don't believe that. Yeah. I think that we do carry feelings and we yeah. should acknowledge those feelings. And if we, we live by those expectations, this is just going to be a summer fling, then it's really cool to still keep contact with that person and have them in your life in some way, unless you get into other significant relationships. And you can be honest and clear about it. Like, I'm in a relationship, my other partner doesn't want me to, I don't know why, keep contact with you at yeah. all. And so let's stop contact or just pop in, like anniversaries, birthdays, happy events, Valentine's Day. Why do we need to end these relationships so traumatically? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were significant at the time. Of and course, I think that you yeah. undermine it by saying, OK, this date, I'm leaving town and we're never going to speak to each other again. That is what causes enormous pain yeah. to people because yeah. they don't know where they stand and they don't know how much they should be investing. Be very clear on your goals as you're going into these summer flings very and that true. you know that when the time is up, mm -hmm. let's reassess and come yeah. to some kind of agreement. But we'll pop into social media, we'll say hello every now and then, and then you may find, as I say, organically it grows into something which can be extremely significant. Yeah. And a lot of people have that experience. Or if We're, not, then just a friendship as well. There's nothing wrong with well, it ending up with a I never, friendship. I never ever know what that friendship is because I think that there's always some kind of attraction. Yeah. But if you're away from each other, Friendship meaning I still care about Absolutely, how you are, yeah. and I think that's very kind and humane. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that as well, yes. Keep contact. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not so sudden. It, exactly. It feels traumatic for people just to end it, especially if you've been very intimate. And you've shared experiences. We, we kind of taught, well, if you're not mine, 
you can't be anybody else's and then we're done. We're never going to see each other. That's too much for the human heart to bear. Oh, yeah. too much Not for the human for the heart to season. bear. I love that. <laughs> well, um, are we going to catch up with Dr. Eve one more time? Yes, yes I yes, think I we think are. But so. this we is are. your opportunity to give us a call. 83 913 We're loving this topic of summer holidays, uh, summer flings, cats making noises on that side. He's really into it. So let's head over to the kitchen and find out what the boys think.